Hey guys, Bredo here. Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Here we are for episode number four. You might have noticed already, we've got our grain trailer. So I did go down and do the mission down there for Steve. Picked up our grain trailer. Let me get rid of this um, start. Picked up our grain trailer and brought it back. I've unloaded one lot of um, wheat into the trailer. So we're going to go back around and harvest some more now. Oops, it's me again going too fast. And when hopefully we're going to get a full trailer load and start selling it and make some money. We don't have a lot of money at the moment. We've got a lot of social points, but not much money. So the close eye on now how full our tank is. Go pass through the end of the field and then turn around and head back up, I think. That's where our tractor and trailer is, so might as well stay close to it for when we're full. You can see the dust that comes out of the back of it. That's small little graphic things like that make a big difference in games, I think. Obviously, in real life, if you're cutting this sort of crop, you'll be kicking up a lot of dust out of the ground and a lot of dust out of the crop as well, so... The small little minute details that most people wouldn't even take much notice of, or I do notice, and it does make a massive difference. We're just about full now, we're at 80%. We'll go through until we're at 100%. Uh, turn that off now. There you go. Got to get this above our grain trailer and then we can unload it again. I did um, drive past the... the What's this place down here called? The Old Mill. I did drive past there and went in and seen the owners and... Um, they're asking for me to deliver grain to them because a lot of the farmers around here aren't delivering grain to them apparently, so that's what we're going to do. Going to get a full trailer load and um, take it down and hopefully make some money. Make some good money. And then we need to get um, the baler, of course, to finish with this field to bale all these, these straw that's left behind and we can sell the bales. I don't know if we need the bales for animals or anything just yet. I did also buy 10 chickens, or 9 nine chickens, or 10 chickens I think. So we've got chickens down in our coop now. I checked out our greenhouse after sleeping that last day and it still hasn't grown anything yet. So there's still seedlings. I'm not sure how long they're going to take to grow, to be honest. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to take a little while for it to grow. Might as well head back up this side because we know we're not going to be full by the time we get back up there. We've got a canola field over there as well, so that's what we'll harvest next after we finish doing this field. We don't really need to pick up this straw if we don't want to. We can always just plow the field and, and plow it into the ground, but I think um, we'll try and pick it up, use as much as we can, make as much money as we can early on. 98% we're nearly full that time. There we go. Extend that out as well. Make sure we're right in the center. Just make sure it's not going on the ground. 85% full. Let's turn around and we'll head back down and come back up and then we'll be able to go and sell it. I do believe, whoops, going way too fast again. I do believe you can tip this straight in the silo without actually having to use the trailer, but we will use the trailer obviously to go and sell because we get three and a half, probably three and a half harvester loads into that trailer, I think. The first thing I do want to purchase once we start making money is a new tractor. I definitely want a new tractor because one we've got at the moment is just really, really slow. 
I do know you can use social points as well to get a discount. When you're purchasing anything, you can use social points. So we'll definitely try and use as much social points as we can to um, get that tractor, the newer tractor, get us get us moving around the map a little bit quicker, hopefully. 68% full. It'll take us a little while to finish harvesting this field. It's only 0.89 of a hectare. Keep a close eye on our tank. There we go, done. We're not going to get the full tank load in here. Yeah, unload. Yep. Oh, that's weird. It actually lets you overload it. Oh, no, that's pretty cool. Really keep a close eye on that. Let's jump in our tractor now. Raise the trailer by pressing V, but we don't want to do that. We want to go to a map. We want to go left, right, left, down here. So to there we want to go. So it's first left, second right. There is a sale point just over here somewhere, but it's a lot less money. So if we take it here, it's three hundred and sixty dollars a ton. Down here, it's five seventy six. So it's definitely worthwhile taking it down there. And then our other field of canola there, we're going to make a lot of money out of that. Hopefully, okay, this is where we turn. Is it? Uh, yeah, we can turn here and go right at the bottom. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far. Finally made it through to start harvesting our own field. So I did that job for Steve off camera. Just fixed um, his greenhouse and his hay shed as well. Just what we seem to be doing for everybody. And picked up another job over here as well for um, an old hay baler. So that's one of the jobs we're going to have to do pretty soon. And there's a fertiliser job as well up the top of the map. So I don't know if we need to fertilise and use slurry or you just do one or the other. I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Wait and see once we're up to that, that stage. So we turn right now. Head along here. We're a fair way away from where that bale trailer is. Well, not a fair way away. We're not far away, actually. I think, do we actually go past... Yeah, we go near the vehicle store. So we'll check out the vehicle store on the way back and work out how much money we're going to need um, to be able to buy that tractor. I'm thinking 20,000, 30,000, maybe 40. be good to have a target, though. We know that's what I want to buy first. Checking out our fuel. We should have plenty of fuel. I did top it up on the way back once we picked up the trailer, so. Should be chockers, and it is 97%, so. Got plenty of fuel in there. Don't need to worry about that at the moment. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. We're going to continue on with um, harvesting these two fields. We might go back and do uh, the canola field because that's where the money is at the moment. So depending how much money we're going to need for this tractor up here, we should be able to get a lot more out of the canola field money-wise. So we might do a quick, a quick grain change. Obviously we're going to have to empty the harvester first. Really there, yep, turn left here. Empty the harvester first into the trailer, tip the trailer off into our silo, and then start on the canola field. That's where the money's gonna be at. Especially this early on. Canola is where the money's at. Also when we go and buy um, the new grains for our cedar, the value of the grains are different. 
Whereas Farm Sim 17, you pay exactly the same amount for all the grains, for all the seeds. In this, you'll pay more for canola than you'll pay for wheat because canola is a higher value um, like commodity or grain, so you're going to pay a lot more. I think it was $35. $35, I think, for wheat, and I think it was like 70 or 60 or 70 for um, canola, so you're paying nearly double. There's the old mill over there, that's where we're headed. So we're getting close now, still got a little ways to go. It's a very, very long drive, so I think after this, we might just sell it back here, because, yeah, we're making a lot more money, but it's taking us a lot longer to get down here. Hopefully this other tractor will do 50 kilometers an hour, maybe 40, 45, 50, it'll be great. Get there twice as quick. We'll head through here, and I don't usually like doing it, but for the sake of saving a bit of time, we'll cut across the field, the grass field here. You can see the way the tractor pushes the grass down when we go over it. it moves it all out of the way, which is, as I said, little graphic things, little graphical things make a big difference. You know, it does look a little bit funny here with the yellow flowers, but got the right idea, just need to sharpen the graphic a little bit. So finally on our last track up the hill to the old mill, we'll tip this off and then we'll head down to the store quickly on the way back just to get a price on that tractor. The sell point is just straight ahead. There we go. Lift the trailer. Well, I made a couple of thousand dollars, so it's not too bad. Hopefully, they're happy with that. They make um, eco flour here, apparently. And all the other farmers aren't coming here, that's why they've raised their prices so much. That's what um, she was telling me when we finally finally met each other. So we'll follow the road back up again and go to the vehicle store quickly before we head back. So at this point in time on my YouTube channel, we're at 1,300 subscribers, or just just surpassed 1,300 subscribers. So thank you to all the new subs, the existing subs, and um, those that have been around for you know whether it's been a day or a whole year. You know I really appreciate every every sub that I get, old and new. These all really do mean a lot, a lot to me as a YouTuber. I try and keep the channel fairly professional. Um, I want to try and release my Discord details soon so we can all get together and have a good old chat. I, my aim for this channel from the start was always to be, you know, a community-based channel. You know, playing games that I enjoy, and obviously games that you guys enjoy watching. But um, a place where we can all get together, have a good old chat. You know, there'll be no no argument, arguments or fighting or animosity between each other. You know, we all get along and, and hang out. That's, that's really what I wanted it to be. The channel has surpassed anything I ever expected it to be. I never expected to reach, you know, 100 subscribers, let alone 1,300. So, as I said, thank you to everyone that sub subscribes. You know, it really does mean a lot. There's a few guys here working away. Amelia, Frank, and someone else. There's a little farmhouse here as well. I think I did fix that, that um, barn just there cow barn. I got paid 240 euros for it. So there are missions that you can do where you just get money instead of actual actual items or machinery. Um, those missions will be these ones here. So I think, well that might be a fishing mission actually. Well, that'll be interesting. It's right near a lake so you never know. So we're coming up on the shop now. So I'm going to Zoom back out. We want to go back over to here, so follow the road straight up once we finish and turn right at that new, the new, or well, the new, but the new cell point for us because we haven't been there yet. 
There goes the train again. Funny looking train. So here we are. We can buy a HDS pickup. 40,000. Not even sure what it does. Ah, okay. That's obviously for fixing things. Got bricks, concrete plaster, wood glaze, impregnate. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's have a look at the tractor. That's what we come here for. Oh wow, 52.3 plus 104,000 social points, which we don't have. Wow. So the tractor's going to be a little way away yet. Can we hitch anything on the back of this? We can't. So that's fairly expensive. This isn't until you max speed, so this thing is going to be a long way away yet, unfortunately. Either 100,000 or 53,000 plus 100,000 social points, so... Still got a little ways to go. Still a lot more farming needs to be done, a few more odd jobs as well, of course. We've got 95% fuel, so we don't need to go and buy any more from there. We've still got a little bit stored at home, I think 19 litres, so not much. Here's our other sale point, which is where we can sell all of our grains and also our bales as well. We'll sell them all in here. Let's cut through the field. See the huge silos there. I think there's this should be a tip point just there that's where we sell our grains I think just in there might be where we sell our bales so obviously bales are one of the things we're gonna have to get done pretty soon as well I just have to get that bale the baler We've already got the bale trailer so just need to get the baler to turn our our uh, leftover straw into bales we'll do what we said head back down to the farm and um, Transfer that stuff over. Oh, Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand two hundred and forty-nine. Was that field eleven? Yeah, Eleven thousand two hundred and forty-nine euro. We'll buy for five thousand plus eleven thousand two hundred and forty-nine social points. Is that right? That seems really weird to me. Buy field eleven. Buy. 11,000 or 5,624.72 euro. Okay, fair enough. Seems really weird, but anyway. Go through here. Just follow the road up, I think. More fields over here. Some more there. The fields all around the place. That's this guy's area. He's, his sheds look pretty good from a distance, anyway. Another farmhouse just here as well. So, yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be stuck with this tractor for a little while. A little bit frustrating, but. Now, nah, well, the other option I'd like to have is to be able to buy like our grains and seeds and stuff without having to drive all the way down here to the shop. Maybe implement a tablet or a mobile phone so you can make a phone order or a computer inside the house so you can just order it online. Maybe it doesn't get delivered till the next day, you know, something along those lines. But um, having to drive backwards and forwards at 23 kilometers an hour is a bit of a bloody pain, to be honest. So let's head around to our harvester and we'll get the leftover wheat out of the hopper, tip it over here out of the way and we'll start on our canola field and see how much money we're going to make out of this. Not sure how big the field is. 0.79, so smaller than the other one. Not by much, but a little bit. 7.9, I think it was 0.84, I think. So a little bit smaller. 0.89, so yeah, 0.1 smaller. Stop here, jump on out, run around and jump in the harvester. Now 
There you go. Let's put that away. Drive up here to get started. Our header's on the ground, so we'll turn it on. Getting a little hungry. We just had something to eat. So we go, picking up canola. We shouldn't be moving too fast now. We should be fine. Let's stop him there quickly, run back and have to empty this out. So you can see all the straw. I don't know how valuable it's going to be, but... It's going to be more valuable than leaving it on the ground, and we need all the money we can get at the moment. So I think we're going to have to just start... Uh, going to have to start seeding with... Um, Canola and all that sort of stuff to, to make some decent money. I'm not sure we can join these fields together either. I'm not sure if it's like farm sim we can join them together. We'll have to wait and see. Raise the trailer. It's tipped off. Now, how do we see how much is in here? Oh, there we go. 212 wheat. Only one sort of grains, so if you pour different grains you already have, you'll lose them. Okay, so wheat can go into here, and then I think we can only pour one into there as well. Um, only, this, only sort of grains can be stored here. Yes, okay, so only one there as well. Look at our greenhouse, nothing's growing in there yet. Everything still looks like they're seedlings, unfortunately. Bring this tractor up here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I'll just stop it there and run over, because I don't know how far this house is going to get before we're full. I would like a little HUD as well, so we don't have to right-click to see how full it is. That, that would be more ideal as well. So instead of having to hold the right mouse, ah, we're doing it again. Um, it would be better to just, you know, be able to see from here what's going on and how full it actually is. Not going to take too long to get full. Oh. Just took off all of a sudden. Then I think we destroyed some of the crops by driving over it. Make sure we're right in the centre so we don't go losing anything. Put that back away. Hit number three, so I don't take off too fast again. Yeah, it's going to be pretty quick to harvest this, I think. Obviously, at some stage, we're going to definitely be able to buy a bigger harvester, but no doubt that thing's going to cost a lot more than the actual tractor does. The tractor's 100,000, so the harvest is probably going to be a couple of hundred, if not 300,000. If not more, to be honest. I really don't know. I haven't even bothered to have a look at it. I know it's way out of our price range at the moment. Not far off being full again. Might as well turn this way. Try not to run over our crop. I want to make sure everything's going in. So we're not losing any on the ground. There we go. Close it back over. We're not, because we're not even harvesting yet. I we'll get a run up and a run back down and be close enough to being full again. Pretty accurate where it's harvesting though, with the the header of that 
bit back there and moved to the left a little bit and we just missed it. So I thought we might have just picked it up, but no, we missed it. So we're going to be full before we get back to the trailer, actually. Probably better off going the one way around like eventually once we get a bigger harvester going like just doing headlands around and around and around that way we can always keep our um our header pipe off to the left hand side sure we don't go too far I'm trying not to run over the crop as well so we miss that little tiny bit there how full's the trailer? Probably not halfway yet. Ah, 42%. There we go. Turn around. And pick up that little bit that we missed. Not that it's going to be much, but... Yeah, pretty much nothing. <laughs> Hoping we get a lot more yield out of it if we actually um, fertilise it and that sort of thing. So that's one thing we're going to have to do. I've um, got the slurry down there, of course, which is the trailer is not quite full. We've got a thousand litres in it. I'm assuming once we buy cows, the uh, slurry will fill by itself. And then we're going to have to buy the fertiliser. We just need to get that fertiliser trailer first. It's getting late, it's 5.30 in the afternoon, so I'm not sure if we're going to get this field finished before night time. Put our headlights on now, just in case. Keep a close eye on how full we are. I miss a bit there, we did, oh well, doesn't matter. The trailer should nearly be full once we've finished tipping this lot in. The sun's going down. Seventy-one percent, so make sure we don't overfill it. Oh pretty close to being full. Let's drop him off there. Jump in our Jack Bear. Now I believe it's a straight up follow this road. It's like our second right I think. Uh, could be shortcut through there, I don't know. There's no, there's no road there. I thought it might have had a road going around, but there's not. We could go right here. Yeah, we have to go right here, actually. I'm thinking we're over here. Oh. Can't drive through that tree. So head around and head up to silos, the sale point. I don't even know what it's called. Agricultural market it is. Somebody's house has said I think they've pretty much touched everything up except for their fencing around that side. Everything else is pretty good. Unfortunately at home it's where I am at the moment in Australia. You guys probably I'm not sure if you think I'm in Australia or England, but definitely in Australia, and um, it is pretty bloody hot where I am at the moment. It's above 40 degrees Celsius, so it's really hot. I'm going to have a pretty hot summer, I think. So we're not far off selling our first trailer load. there very slowly. Can't wait to get rid of this bloody tractor. So slow. It's 
head on into the market, find our sale point. Which I believe will be around to the right somewhere. Yep, of course. Not sure if these are refill points or I doubt we'll be able to refill anything anyway, but. Money's going up fairly good. What is the price for canola? $792 a tonne. $6,200, so we've got a little bit of money out of that. Head back around to the left. I think in there, here, somewhere you sell the hay bales. Uh, maybe not. I'm not sure where they go. Uh, whoop, can't really see anywhere for them to go, so we'll head back down to the farm and keep harvesting away. Hopefully we'll get this field finished. Should be one trailer load, then we should be done, hopefully. Oh, sorry, I'm filling my bloody portable air conditioner. Not watching where I'm going. So, chuck a left here. I will get used to the map eventually, won't have to keep looking at where we are. Go left and then right, and then um, should be back down at our farm, hopefully. just a very slow trip with this tractor and I've said it a thousand times already but wow it's getting a little bit annoying a little bit more milk and then what we'll hopefully you'll be a little bit happier a little bit chirpier there's our farm over there and that's our field so we're on the right track There he is, sitting down there ready to go. Be good if we could hire a worker to help us, but that's money that we don't really have at the moment. String around to the right. Jump off and jump back on our harvest. I don't know if we're going to get it all finished today. I won't. probably won't get it finished all this episode. But I will be able to do it off camera. You guys pretty much know what we're doing. We're just harvesting our field, so. Might just go up and turn around and come straight back down. Instead of doing the full loop de loop. Keep close to our trailer that way. We'll see we're working away from it, but it'll be on the right side of us anyway, if we're full on the way down. We weren't completely oh we were actually completely empty. We had like one extra gram of canola. There we go. Hold on up and fill it up. Thinking we might, yeah, we might only get one more trailer load out of this. Tip that in. Keep telling us we're moving too fast, but we're not harvesting just yet. It's oh, getting late, nearly 7 p.m.
We really need to get to bed soon, so we need to get this field done as quick as we can. It's good how it's implemented that we actually need to eat and sleep. I think it's a pretty great idea, whereas Farm Sim 17, as much as I love the game, um, you can just work all night, which isn't realistic at all. It's realistic as Farm Sim is. It's not realistic, you know, sleep-wise. Like, you should have to, same as this game, you should have to sleep for a certain amount of time each night. And... Obviously, the eating thing, yeah, it's a good idea, I think. Eating and possibly drinking, just to keep your energy up. Maybe that's something that you can implement, like, if you're extremely tired, or you're hungry or thirsty, maybe uh, the machinery is harder to control. Like, the guy you're controlling is less responsive. Similar to him being drunk, I suppose, and trying to control him. If you ever played Grand Theft Auto 5 and gotten drunk, you'd know how hard it is to drive. Drive when you're drunk in that game, so similar. Do a similar thing in this game, of course. We're 2,400 kilos, so we, oh, we might need a little bit more. might get more than just one trailer load. We might get one in a little bit, I think. Twenty-one percent. It's a few runs, but there's not a lot left, so... Might get... Might get more than a trailer load, I think. We'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. I think we're going to have to sleep soon because I think he's, we're going to start complaining saying he's tired. This is pretty much, I think this is day five we're at now. That's day five in the life of a, a farmer. We're nearly full again. Got a pretty small tank, this harvester. We're um, nearly three quarters of the way through the field. Thirty six hundred litres of canola in there at the moment. I wonder if that price has actually dropped or not. For all our 7.92 euros a ton, so I don't think it has dropped. Let's go the whole way down again and come back up, and hopefully we're going to get another full hopper here, and we're going to have a little bit left over. For another trailer trip or we can just put in storage and take it next time we go it might just be a waste of time I think going if we don't have a full trailer load so it's nearly eight o'clock at night so it's definitely getting late He hasn't complained about being tired yet, he got a lot of sl extra sleep the night before. So it's going to be a full trailer load, plus extra. There you go. Close it back up and then we'll just fill ourselves up again. Definitely going to need to empty it again, so we'll probably end up having just to take that trailer and empty it, empty it into um, a storage area. 
and then come back and finish the field off, I think. And then call it an episode. I won't sell it. Go for another another drive to the sale point on camera. You guys have already seen where it is and and that stuff. I can do that off camera, take a full trailer load again. Go done. Jump on out. It's getting very dark. Hard to see. Jump in our tractor. Oh, I don't know how we're going to go back on this thing up though. Might need if we've got. Might help if we've got lights on too. I think. Obviously, we can't tip it into there like we did before. Have to tip it into this one over here, but it's going to be. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to back it into there, actually. And I've got the tree in the way and a dog kennel, and I've got the mower in the way as well. Oops, wrong side of it. Got it out of the shed to have a look at it and test it out, but it wasn't really working very well. Oh, it shouldn't still be going with us unhitching it. There you go. Now lower it down and drop it off. There we go. It should have stopped once we dropped it, but anyway. It's got no PTO there to turn it. This is going to be tough now to try and get in to pick this up, I think. I'm more worried about trying to reverse the bloody thing. That I knew I was going to struggle. How about that? Is it going into our storage? I hope so. I hope it's not going on the ground. jump out and go upstairs and have a look. Oops, missed the stairs completely. In here. Yeah, not 4202 of canola. So it's there. Where's our load point to reload it? That's the next question. Uh, I think it's, there it is, in here. Let's open these doors up. And shut these on so we don't need to be in there. And what's in here? Nothing. Okay, interesting. Let's jump back in the tractor. It's getting pretty late at night. Still got this other field to harvest yet, so we've still got a little bit of work to do. Jump out of that. Oh, jump in this. The lights on as well. Hopefully, it won't take us too long to finish this up. Then we'll finish the episode. Might just get one more full hopper out of um, the harvester, and then that'll be it, I think. Starting to have a little bit less area to, to harvest now. We've got a very good turning circle. The close iron. How many litres we've got? See, if we, have, we um, fertilise this with manure or fertiliser, I'm thinking we're going to get a much greater yield out of it. So we're going to have a heap of trailer loads to go to sell. 
So other option is if we can't afford a bigger tractor, maybe we can afford a bigger trailer. That's something that um, we can maybe look at as well. Eighty-four percent. So we're going to be close to being full. Not quite. 87%. It's not too bad though. Tip that off. Turn it off and we'll bring it to this field. So it's ready to go. What I'll do though guys is I'll get this harvested off camera. You guys probably don't want to see me harvesting that again. So we'll har harvest that off camera. I will, I think, I'll see what that mission is to get the hay baler. If it's a repair mission, I'll skip it. If it's something different, I will um, show you guys what it is. And we'll come back once that's finished, once I've got the hay baler. And we'll start to bale up this little field with all the straw because I've got our bale trailer just here as you can see. Let's back this up. Lift that up, hopefully it'll go straight up to the top. There we go. Park the tractor there. It is well past our bedtime at 9 o'clock at night. I don't think we have a torch. Actually, down in the basement, I will show you guys this quickly. You've got a storage area for your pantry, so you can store stuff into here if you want to. So that's why I found a whole heap of extra food down here. There's like a cheeseburger and fries and a bit of extra food, which I've put in my inventory. We're going to have to probably go and buy some soon, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment and let me know how you thought the episode went. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed yet guys please do so hit that subscribe button make sure you hit the bell next to it to receive a notification every time i upload it's been brito's gaming thanks for watching we'll see you again soon